it'll be what it is and it'll be fun. This will make sense, maybe. We are back. Thanks for joining us for another exercise movement session today. We'll try to keep it a little more chill. Probably stay down on the ground. Maybe work on a little bit of uh, crawling and some deep knee bends. I think that's what we'll do and we'll see what happens. Always move within your abilities. Move within your capabilities. Practice safe. Have some water and a towel standing by and we'll get started. So scoot on back so we have some space. We'll have our knees up, feet planted, and we'll just send our arms behind us into like a crab type position. Keep our hips down for now. Feet can go wider than hips distance. And we're just going to windshield wiper our knees side to side. Remember to breathe throughout this. Try not to collapse the neck and shoulders. Try to sit up nice and tall. And on the third from now, one, two, three, we're gonna stay to this side. And we'll switch three times to stay to the opposite side. So one, two, three. Do that two more times. So one, two, three. This time we'll add a reach. So if my knees are to the left, my right arm is going to reach behind me. And we'll reach towards the ceiling. Siding up the arm, looking towards the thumb or the pointer finger. And we'll come back to center. We'll say three times. So one, two, three and reach with the left arm if your knees are to the right. We'll reach up towards the ceiling, pressing down through the hand to reach long through the other. Good. Come back to center. Let's just sway four times. So one, two, three, four, come to center and let's rock front to back. One, let's do it ten times. Two, three, four. Chin is tucked, back is round. Five, six. Pay attention if there's any sort of slams on the ground, try to round them out. And one more. Let's sway our knees to the left. So, boom. And we'll just turn over to our hands and knees. And then we'll come back, sway our knees to the right, and turn over to our hands and knees. Rolling hip to hip. Bent sit, side bent sit, tabletop, or knee hand position. Good. This time we'll pause, engage the toes. I'm going to press through the hands and stretch the feet. So the grip into the toes, the balls of the feet. Maybe your knees lift up. And we'll roll through. Do the same thing on this side. Toes engage. Press back. Knees float up. And let's extend the legs. Downward facing dog. So we can pedal out the feet here. 
alternating one heel up, one heel down. And then we'll relax the feet and relax the neck. Let the head fall. Let the head relax like that. Pressing through, making space from your shoulders to your ears. Good, knees will come down and we'll ro roll through. Good. So this time as we come to our tabletop, we'll send the right leg out and the left arm out. We're going to suck the, the belly in, tuck the bottom ribs up, and try to imagine a straight line. The tendency sometimes is to curve your back, not what we're going for here today. So kind of line up your bicep with your ear, evenly distribute your weight from your hand to your knee, and we'll come down and we'll switch sides, so we'll roll through. And on this opposite side, we'll go left leg long, right arm forward. Same rules apply, bottom ribs tuck in, I'm gonna lift through my whole spine, line up my right ear with my right arm, and imagine trying to flatten out your hips, your back, trying not to round, trying to be flat today. Good. Let's do one more each side, so we'll roll through, tabletop opposite side, left arm, right leg. And the knee come down, rolling through, hips, knees up, knees to the side, and we're back. Right arm long, left leg long. Good, hands and knees, coming back to our butts. Good. Let's swing our legs behind us, coming into our child's pose. So hands outstretched, hips towards our heels. Let the forehead fall towards the floor. From here, I'm going to grip through my hands. As I shift forward, I'm going to drop my forearms, adjusting to this first one. Elbows under shoulders into our little sphinx pose, if you will, zipping the legs together or in line with your hips. Looking forward, pressing through, and I'm going to pull the shoulders back. Chin tucks a little. Good. From here, I'm going to grip through the hands, grip through the forearms, lift my hips, and shift back into like a puppy pose. So chin and chest towards the floor, hips lift high. If it's too much, don't fold as far. Keep yourself elevated. And we'll switch between the two. So as I come forward, forearms, I drive forward and peel up. Then I'm gonna press back. coming forward. Let's do one more, shifting back. And coming forward. From here we'll engage the hands, peel our way up through our cobra, engage the tops of the feet into our upward facing dog. Good. We'll come down to our belly, right arm long, left foot's going to bend up towards the ceiling, and then reach over the foot. 
the extended leg, the left arm will point up. Coming back to our chests, switching hands, right hand comes in, left arm goes long, so right foot bends, stepping over the left leg, right arm lifts. I'm squeezing through my hips, trying to drive everything into a straight line. And then we'll come back to our bellies. Hands come in. This time when we switch, instead of sending the right arm forward, I'm gonna send the right arm out to the side. Left leg will bend, and I'm gonna peel open. If you're feeling comfortable, you can reach up towards the ceiling again, or reach behind you. Find what's good for you, or keep the hand down for support. Switching sides, my chest comes to the floor, left arm shoots out to the side, right hand comes in, right foot steps over like before. Again, I'm peeling my way up towards the ceiling, finding your level, your variation, arm up, arm behind you, or using the hand for support. Good, coming back to our chest, we'll peel our way up into a kneeling position, and we'll go flat feet for now, and we'll rise up, let's say five, so one, two, three, four, five. Now we'll tuck our toes. And repeat. One, two, three, four, five. Good. We'll plant the hands. And what we're ultimately going to do is we're going to walk out. So for now, I'm going to reach with my left arm forward, and my right knee is going to come up to the side as I lower to my chest. So left arm forward, right knee to the side. My right hand, right knee, left arm, and I can look to the side or look up through my eyebrow. While we're here, we'll just switch. So I'm gonna take my right arm to the top, left knee comes up, left hand is like a push-up. We'll switch back, left arm up front, Right knee up, right hand by our side. And we're going to press and come back to that tabletop to our kneeling. And then we'll alternate. We'll come up, toes tucked. We'll come up, flat foot. Toes tucked, flat foot, toes tucked. And now we'll come down, right arm forward, left hand to the side. So this time, right hand comes up, as I lower, boom, we'll switch, one, two, three, four, and I'm going to press, come back to that kneeling position. Good, one, switch our feet, two, switching our feet, three, switch our feet. Coming down to flat this time, left arm forward, right arm to the side. So you can either gradually slide your way out, or you're feeling conf confident, let one hand do more of the work than the other. And switch, switch, 
switch, press back. Rising up, switching our feet, tuck toes, flat feet, tuck toes, flat feet. This time, right arm forward, left knee comes up. And we'll switch, and switch, and switch, and switch. Pressing up, and back. Let's end. Instead of just kneeling and coming up, you can stay there if you like. Otherwise, we're going to step up and we'll do sets of three again and then go down. So what do I mean by that? As I float up, right foot, I'll engage the toes, flat feet, left foot, flat feet, right foot and down. And we'll come in to our crawl position, long crawl, left arm forward, right arm to the side, and we'll just switch three times. One, two, three. Our line will do four, just so we return on the same side. And we're gonna press and come back. Now we'll go left foot, right foot, left foot, right arm, left foot. Four switches, one, two, three, four, retract. If you're doing this later, you wanna do this outside, you can have the space, and you have the space, just crawl forward, you don't necessarily have to just switch sides. We're doing that because we're indoors, Space is limited, and we're just getting positional. So let's add one more piece to this puzzle. Let's, when our toes are engaged in the back, we'll lean back and float the knees and come down. And then we'll step up. We'll keep the toes engaged. Float the knees, step up. I don't care if you come up all the way or you don't. I just want to milk this moment of weightlessness so your knees come off the floor and then we'll come down and we'll just do one. So that way it'll be more of a flow. Let's do that. Let's do three knee floats. That means and on three step ups or lunge positions, and we'll go down and up. And then we'll do three and three, other side, down and up. Let's do that. Here we go. So I'm gonna to try to leave my toes engaged this whole time. Gonna float, right side, float, left side, float, right side left arm forward and back float left float whoa. right float left right arm forward left knee comes up and back one one two two three three, and down. One, one, two, two, three, three, down. One, 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 two, two, three, down. Two more. One, two, three, one, two, 
three, down. One more, both sides. Left, right, down, back, left, right, left, down. Right, left, right, down. Good. Next, let's add a little actual movement into this. So we'll crawl one step, retreat one step, and we'll come back. So if you have the space, or oh, space is limited, go as far back as you can. We'll start from our kneeling position. I'm going to go left arm forward, right knee coming forward. Boom. Now, instead of just switching in place, I'm going to pull through my front forearm as I reach my leg switch. And I'm going to retreat, going back the same way. So I'm going to press, and I'm back to where I was, pressing up, and I'm back to my knees. This time we'll go right arm forward, left knee forward, right arm forward, and switch, and back, and back. Left side, right side, left side, and back, right, left, right, back, left side, right side, back, Right side forward, left side, right side, and back. Left side, right side, back, and up. One more, left, right, switch, back. Opposite side, one, Three, four, good. Now let's play with that deep knee bend. Actually try to come up into like a deep knee position. So first, let's start from the top. We'll come to stand. <clears throat> so Essentially come to my tippy toes and try to lower my hips to my heels in a straight line. Arms can come out for counterweight. And I'll be here. And let's, let's do 10. So I'm going to rise up and come down slow and controlled for two, three, four. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So while we're down here, the same way we were floating our knees before, we're going to land our knees. So I'm going to reach my shoulders back and reach the knees forward. It should be soft and not a hard landing. The more you lean back, the more slowly you can touch your knees. As we get tired, it will be difficult and it'll be fun. So you can have a towel out 
as a destination to land your knees for a little cushion. Or if you're on a yoga mat, you can fold it over. It's an extra cushion there. But let's play with that. This time, instead of coming all the way up, we'll just float our knees so we're holding. And then we'll dip our knees in this down kneeling position will be our rest point. So, from our kneeling position, I have to engage my toes, tip my shoulders back. And if you don't make it up, you don't make it up, but I'm gonna lean back, float the knees, arms can come forward. I wanna feel in control here, and then I'm gonna reverse. If I needed to, I'm wobbly, plant your hand, Stand up, shake it out, it's your practice. Come down to reverse, I lean back, knees drive forward, and I'll have a little moment. <sighs> Tuck the toes, lean back, tip up. Relax the arms, chill, and then reverse. Tip and lean, and relax. Good. Working precision and control here. It's not just come up and be crazy. Let's try to have some focus and some precision and control throughout the movement. It's not always gonna work like that, but Let's play with that today. Good. Let's do two more. Coming up, toes tuck, lean back. Whoa. Oh well. Come back, land, and down. Those shoulders back, knees up, and down. Let's do one more to either redeem ourselves or to fall down and have some fun with that. Good. Let's swing our feet out front. Legs can be long. We'll just kind of shake them out. Windshield wiper the feet. And we'll come into a wide legged seated position, seated split, straddle, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to work to sit up nice and tall. I'm going to hinge forward at the waist and just looking right. Looking left. Good, let's look up. Chin to chest. Looking up. Chin to chest. Let's inhale, both arms lift. We're going to reach the shoulders up to our ears, and then we're going to bring the shoulders down. Don't worry about sending the arms super far back. Just think of having them nice and straight, and reaching where they will, with the shoulders engaged, downward. Let's take the right arm across the chest, and we'll hook under it with the left. And we'll look over that right shoulder. I'm going to release the arms, right arm to the inside of the thigh, left arm up and over. And back to center, we'll inhale both arms up, and we'll fold down forward. Inflating up. And we'll send the left arm across the chest, the right arm will hook it, looking over that left shoulder.
will release, left arm inside the thigh, right arm will reach up and over. Coming back to center, both arms up, we're going to shoulders to our ears, shoulders down, and then we'll fold forward. Staying low, whatever that means for you, we'll come over to the right leg. Staying low through center, over to the left leg. To center, we'll inhale up, reaching those shoulders up long through the arms, then we'll bring them down, then we'll bring the hands down. Let's bring the left foot inside the right thigh, and sight down the right leg, and fold over that right leg. Try to reach forward with the chest, not just down here. So even if I don't get very far, proud chest, long spine, folding forward, and we'll hold. Using your breath to kind of relax you. With every exhale, maybe you shimmy down a tiny bit. Do two more breaths here, nice and slow. We're going to inhale and release. And breath number two, nice and slow. And release. Good. Coming up to center before we uncross. Let's cross both legs, inhale the arms up, and fold over both. Inhaling up, notice the right leg's on the outside, right leg long, left leg long. Now we'll take the right foot inside the left thigh, lining up with that left leg, inhaling the arms up, and we'll fold. Same thing here, I'm trying to be long through the spine, bringing my spine, stomach, abdomen towards the thigh, not my shoulder to the thigh. And then try to melt into the position, try to relax. Slowing our breathing down. Two more breaths, nice and slow, full inhale, and releasing nice and slow. And again, inhale slow and controlled. And releasing slow and controlled. Inhaling up to center, this time I'm crossing the left leg in, it's outside. Inhale both arms up, shoulders come down, and then we'll fold over both thighs. And for fun, I'm going to take my elbows into my shins, if you're there. If not, it can be your forearms, wherever you're at. And then let's look around. I'm going to look over my left shoulder, look over my right shoulder. In the chest, looking up, looking left, looking right, 
And now, extra fun, take my right hand, I'm gonna cross it parallel with my shins, and then reach up to the ceiling with my left arm. Still trying to stay low. And then we'll switch. Left arm parallel with the shins, right arm comes up for a reach. And back to center. Peeling our way up, we'll send both legs out. Inhale the arms up, and we'll fold forward. Leaving the right hand wherever it is, shin, thigh, knees, foot. I'm going to inflate my spine nice and long and reach back with the left arm. And then just revolve through, so left arm comes to the front, right arm goes to the back. And we'll do one more each side, so revolving right arm forward, left arm back. And left arm forward, right arm back. Coming to center, taking my right foot, crossing it over the left knee. I'm going to sit back into that crab thigh position and elevate my left knee. So you're in your reclined hip opener, your reclined pigeon if you will. I'm just going to bring my chest towards the thigh and the thigh towards my chest. And why not? Let's extend that leg and we're going to fold forward. So if you can get it nice and low, you can kind of cradle that bent leg. But we're going to come down to it. We'll float up. We'll release the cross. This side left crosses over the right. And the right knee bends, bringing on the stretch. You can scoot the chest forward by walking the hands forward or bringing the thigh to you by scooting the foot. And again, we'll extend the right leg, folding forward. If I have it, I can cradle the leg. Wrapping the knee, wrapping the foot, bringing my chest towards my shin. And we'll release both legs long. We'll send them to the left, to the left or your right, side bent sit for one, post, switch, post, switch for two, post and switch. And we'll do one more each side. And post and switch. Good. Releasing the legs. Come to whatever comfortable seated position you like. Let's take a wide-armed inhale, sweeping the arms up. And we'll bring fingertips together as we exhale. Shoulders relax, hands come down. And we'll do two more. Big inhale. Slow exhale. 
Relaxing the shoulders, relaxing the jaw, inhaling up, exhaling down. You can take backs of the hands to the thighs, to the knees. Let's do one inhale here. Let the shoulders be down. Fill the belly up. Fill the chest. The collarbones into the throat. And then we'll release throat, chest, belly. And that is time. Thank you all for participating, watching, checking this out, and stay safe.